This video is sponsored by Capture One. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking you through this really powerful piece of software called Capture One and showing you how you can really customize it and make it work for you as a photographer. If you're new around here, my name is Ian Hippolyte. I'm a fashion photographer. If you wanna see some more photography related content, behind the scenes, that sort of thing, make sure you stick around and subscribe to the channel. So if you've seen my videos before, you've probably seen me using Capture One. I typically use it while I'm shooting to tether into the computer so my photos come straight from the camera right onto the screen and I can edit them and organize them straight away. It's pretty much the industry standard software for this. So if you go into any professional set or studio setting, they're probably using Capture One. If you want to check out Capture One, I've got a link in the description and I also have a discount code which gives you 20% off any new annual subscriptions. So make sure you use that code. It's super limited, it's first come first serve, so make sure you're quick. As photographers, we all have our preferences and we like to edit in different ways. But what's so great about Capture One is that it's super customizable and really flexible. So no matter what style of photography you shoot or how you like to edit, you can really find a way to personalize the software to you. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do that. So coming into Capture One, I've got this project loaded up here. This is a shoot I did a few months back. I've actually got a behind the scenes on this shoot. So if you wanna see how I did it, make sure you check out the link up there. But this is what Capture One looks like. This is the default workspace within Capture One. So you have your viewer right in the middle, which shows you which picture you have selected. And then over on the right here, you have all your photos, which you can scroll through and then select and they'll pop up in the viewer in the middle. Along the top here, we have our toolbar, and this is where we have some of the tools that you typically use. So we can import from here, export, um, we can reset any adjustments that we've made to an image, undo, redo, things like that. You also have you know, your cursor tools, so this is where you would maybe crop an image. So I can maybe crop an image from here, or draw on a mask and make adjustments that way. And then over to the right, we have the before and after, which shows any adjustments that we've made and I can use this slider to show me before and after. I can also go for a full view which just shows me straight up without the slider. And then we have things like the grid, there's some learning resources and we can also copy and paste adjustments from here as well. Over on the left we have the tool tabs. So we have the library which is where we can organize our photos and create folders. We can also filter our images as well so you can apply star ratings or color tags. Within the tethering tab you can control your camera so if, you're, if you've got your camera plugged into your computer and you're tethering while on a shoot you can adjust your camera settings from here, you can set how your files are named and that sort of thing. We have the style tab which is where you can apply styles or presets to your images and then we have probably the most important which is the adjustment tab which is where you can make adjustments to your image and really edit it and change things like exposure, white balance, you can play with curves, you can adjust the levels, you can change color, everything within this adjustment tab. The shape tab is where you can change things like crop, rotation and keystoning. And then you have your refine tab which is where you can do sharpening, noise reduction, add grain and things like that. So this is the default setting for Capture One. This is how it comes straight out the box basically. But you might not want to use all of these tools. You might just use a specific set of tools and want to access those quickly and more easily. So the first thing you can do is you can adjust the toolbar. So if I come up to the toolbar and I right click, I can press customize toolbar. And from here, I can see all, my, all the items that are available to me and I can drag and drop my favorite ones onto the toolbar for quick and easy access. So let's say for example, I want to quickly apply styles or presets to an image. I can drag styles and I can put that on my toolbar so I can quickly access those. Or let's say I'm sorting through some photos and I need to quickly rotate a bunch of different photos. I can drag rotate up here and have quick and easy access to that. So once I found all the tools that I, I want, I can just close this, press done. So now that I've got those tools on my toolbar, I can quickly access them. So if I need to rotate right, for example, I can just quickly press there. If I want to add a style or a preset that I've made earlier, I can come into uh, my styles and go to custom styles and then to quickly apply one from here. If you want to find out more about styles, I actually made a video about that. So make sure you check that out up here as well. And also if there are any tools on the toolbar that you don't really use and they're kind of taking up space, you can easily just drag them around or even just completely drag them away and get rid of them. So it's super handy to be able to customize that toolbar 
and add and take away the tools that you want to use and the ones that you don't really use so much, depending on the style of photography and editing that you do. So typically when you're editing an image in Capture One, you're gonna be using this adjust tab here. This is where you can access all the tools that you're gonna to use to adjust and edit the image. So I can adjust the exposure, contrast, saturation. I can change the highlights and shadows. I've got curves here, levels. I've also got color adjustments in here as well. So I can change the color balance and add you know, tone to the shadows or I can change the saturation of certain colors. All of those settings are in here. Typically for when I'm editing, I like to separate my exposure and my sort of lighting adjustments from my color adjustments. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to go to add tool tab and go to color. From here, it brings up this new color tab which just has my color settings in. And that just makes it a lot cleaner for me, a lot easier and I can sort of see things a lot better if I just have all my color adjustments in one place. And if I press command and then click on the tab itself, I can drag it and position it wherever I want within this little lineup here. So now I can use this tab to just focus on color adjustments on its own. So within this adjust tab now, I'm gonna sort of clean this up a little bit. Now, because I already have this tab solely for color, I don't really wanna have color settings within this adjust tab as well. I just wanna make this adjust tab all about my exposure, my curves and things like that. You know, I've got the color balance here, I don't really want it. So I can right click, press remove color balance. I can also right click here and press remove color editor tool. Black and white, I've got that in the color as well. So I'm gonna remove the black and white tool. And now I've sort of simplified this just to have my clarity, my curves, levels, exposure, and things like that. So if you haven't used Capture One before, but you've used a program like Lightroom, you might not know where all your settings are in here, and it could be a little bit overwhelming. So Capture One has actually made it really easy and made a workspace specifically for transitioning over from Lightroom. What you can do is go to Window, Workspace, and then Migration. So as you can see, it's completely changed the workspace around, and it looks a lot more like what you might be a bit more familiar with. So you've got your all your files at the bottom, you've got your photo viewer here in the middle, and then you've got your tools and adjustment stuff all on the right hand side here. So if you're new to Capture One, this is a great way to sort of get your feet wet and give it a try with it still feeling quite familiar to what you may have used before. So if you do different types of photography, you can create different workspaces for this. So let's say I shoot weddings, but also shoot portraits. There is a workspace specifically designed for weddings, or if you want a really simple workspace, you can go for the simplified one, which sort of gets rid of some of those extra tools that you might not need, or you can create your own workspace. And I've saved mine. Um, if I just come to workspace, Ian's workspace. So I've got my library here. I've got my tethering because I tether all the time. And then I have my color window for my color adjustments, adjust window for all my exposure and curves adjustments and that sort of thing. And then over on the right here, I like to have two um, sets of photos rather than having sort of one column of photos like that. I prefer to have two so that I can just see more and quickly scroll through it and see the photos that I want to select. And you can completely just drag this around. You can go for three or four if you want. You can really play around with this and customize it to work for you. So as you can see, Capture One is really customizable, but there's another tool called Capture One Live, which gives you the flexibility of working collaboratively and also remotely. Check this out. So if I come over to my toolbar and I click on live, it's gonna open up this little drop down here. And from here, what I can do is choose a collection. So I can choose a specific folder from this session. So I'm gonna choose my capture folder, which is basically all the photos that I've taken. And then from here, what I can do is generate a link. So this is great if you have someone who can't physically be on the shoot with you, because you can just send them this link, they can access the photos within their web browser, and then they can see all the photos coming through live and be able to add color tags or add star ratings and let you know which ones they like. They could be working from home or in a different country, and you can still collaborate with them on this collection of photos. So what I can do here is set when I want this link to expire. So I can set it for say a week and then I'm going to start sharing. I can add a password if I want to, to sort of make it more secure and password protect it. And what I'm gonna do is I can copy this link from here, open up my web browser and simply just paste in that link. And as you can see, the photos are currently here loading in now, but I can scroll through here 
and I can see all of them in like a grid format. Or if I come back to the top, I can click on this binoculars here. And this is gonna automatically show me the next photo that's loading in. So if I'm tethering live, it's gonna continuously show me the next shot in a full screen view. I can also filter through and maybe select the photos with a green rating and it's gonna show me just those. So let's say I see this picture here and I wanna give this picture a three star rating. Click on here, three stars. When you come back into Capture One, that will actually update live in Capture One. So if I come back to Capture One and I go on my photos with three stars, you can see that this one has been selected. I want this one, for example, I want that to be three stars. When I come back into Capture One, instantly, it's got three stars. So as you can see, it's completely instant, it's very live, it's very reactive, and it gives you that flexibility to collaborate with people who might not be in the same space as you. This is especially great as things have changed so much since the pandemic, and I think this tool is really the future of how we're gonna collaborate and work with people on photo shoots. So those are just some of the customization and flexibility features within Capture One. As you can see, I can completely change around my workspace. I can add and take away tools that I want or don't want, and I can really make the software work for me as a photographer and suit the style of editing that I do and the style of photography that I shoot. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more photography content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and be sure to follow me on Instagram to see more of my work at Ian Hippo. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.